Hello, students. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you for answering. It is a great happiness to have you here on this new day, different day, but it's going to be just a special for this week, right? This week and the next one, we are going to have this special time on which we are going to meet on Fridays. So how was your day? Tell me. Was it good, bad, tiring? How was your day? ¿Qué tal les fue? ¿Cómo fue su día? Very nice. Very nice. What did you do? Did you go to work? ¿Fueron a trabajar? Eh, yes, no. Eh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> But that's why it was a nice day. <laughs> that's why it was a very nice day, for sure. The days that you don't have to go to work are fantastic. But in some cases, when you don't go to work, are the most difficult days, right? Because you have to do many things. And it is like, mira, que no sé qué, que el agua, que el super, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. So you need to do many things when you don't work. Well, welcome. To all the rest of students that are connecting. Tell me, how was your experience with the new tool for the audios? ¿Qué tal les fue con la nueva herramienta para los audios? Was it easy to use? ¿Les pareció fácil, sencilla? ¿Ya la habían utilizado antes? Yeah, it was easy. It was easy. And the good thing is that you don't you don't keep the audios on your phone because that's the problem. Yesterday I was thinking and I said, mm, if they are going to send audios every day, they are going to have all the memory of their phone full of audios. <laughs> so it yeah. is better because in that case, you can use it. You can listen to your friend's audios and it is not necessary that you save it on your phone, right? So it is a very nice tool for you to use. It is very, very uh, easy to use and it's it's kind of friendly, right? It is very friendly. I am going to send that reminder to your friends on the group because uh, uh, maybe they, they just forgot <laughs> us. Okay, I will say we are waiting for you in class. Okay. For all the ones that are here already, don't worry. And there you go. Well, so today I am going to make a short review on past tenses. And I am going to give you a couple of details that are important to keep in mind when you are using the past tense form of the verbs. We are going to have a little bit of conversation practice as well. And as yesterday, we were working on a simple past and introduction generalities, right? So we are going to work a little bit more on that today. But before we go on that part, I wanted to stop a little bit and review uh, a couple of things from the past tenses, okay? Let me share my screen with everybody. So welcome most of the ones that are connecting already, right? Remember the class agreements that we have, practice your English as much as possible, ask for help whenever you need, keep your cameras on during the complete session, okay? Si les agradecería a todos que mantengan siempre su cámara encendida porque es el requisito eh, para la hora de clase. Keep your microphones off if we are not using it. Attend all your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Collaborate with your friends in the group. And for sure, practice your speaking with the audios every day. So welcome, my dear class, to your uh, third session with me. Remember, when we talk about the past tense, Right. When we talk about the past tense, it comes to our mind the different lists of verbs, right? That we have studied that much a lot, 
right? And you use the form of e D at the end of the verb to make the verb in past, right? This change happens with the regular forms of the verbs. ¿A cuáles verbos les ponemos ed al final? A los regulares, okay? Nice. Regular verbs, the normal verbs that don't have that much of, of a change. And it is good because these verbs are the same in past and in past participle, so they don't change. The problem in most of the cases is with the irregular forms, right? The irregular forms are, are the ones that are kind of tricky. And I am going to show you a, a little secret that I have for the irregular forms. But the spelling rules for most of the verbs, you add ed at the end and you transform it into a past tense, right? For example, this one, this is the base form, ed. Examples, walk and play, right? And you have walked and played, right? The verbs ending in e, you add only the letter D for you to make the past. If you have a verb ending in a consonant in Y, you change the Y to I and add ED, right? Carry, study, right? Those are forms of past tenses that we have. And some verbs ending in a single consonant, for example, plan and stop, you have to double the N and double the P for you to make the past tense, right? And you add ed. These are forms that you use for the regular verbs, right? Most of the regular verbs. I have here a couple of examples, right? For each of the categories. When you add ed, when you add d, and when you add ied. And the last category, when you double the consonant and you add ed. Right, for example, here you are going to say stopped with double P, pinned with double N, clapped with double P, hope with double P, and sip with double P. In this case, what are the past tenses of this ones? What will be the past tense of fry? Right. We change the, the, uh -huh. the Y in. We change the Y for E, for I, mm -hmm. and Never we add I. for D. Okay, you change the Y for I, and then you add ED, mm -hmm. right? So you say fried, tried, tried, started, carried, married, copied, right? And you change the Y to I. But what about this one? You add only the D because you have the letter E at the end. You don't say closed to make the past tense, right? Like it. No, I say liked, lived, shared, used, saved, loved, and moved, right? You only add the D at the end. And in this one, you add the ED. You say listened, cooked, looked, called, walked. You don't say walked, right? Played, helped opened, watch, paint, painted, right? Jumped, played, brushed, followed. And you are going to tell me, teacher, how am I going to know when to pronounce the T, when to pronounce the D, when to pronounce the ED? Here's my answer. And I say, don't worry about that because I have a solution for you. In this case, you have different categories to these uh, different words on which you pronounce id, t, and d. For example, here, all the verbs, all the verbs that finished in t or in d in the normal form are going to add an extra syllable, right? For example, here you say one till, need, did. Right? You have an extra syllable. All these ones are pronounced with T at the end. But you're not going to say help it with the T at the end, right? But imagine that you have here, for example, say helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, 
danced, fixed, practice with me. It is not easy, but it's not impossible. Go ahead. We have helped. Helped. Looked. Helped. Washed. Helped. Looked. Washed. Washed. Watch. Watched. Laughed. Watched. Laughed. Laughed. Breathed. Breathed. Kissed. Kissed. Danced. 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 Fixed. 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 The next category is a little bit easier because you have to imagine that you don't have the letter E. Imagínense que le borraron la letra E al verbo. And you say cold, cleaned, cold. offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, and amazed. Imagine that you erase the E and you have to read the E. So you say cold. Cold. Cleaned. 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 Offered. 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 Damaged. Damaged. Loved. 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 Used. Used. Followed. 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 Enjoyed. 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 Amazed. 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 Okay, now. For you to practice, I need you to do these two categories, okay? Podemos apagar el micrófono y podemos practicarlo para que no nos confundamos entre todos, right? Say helped, looked, washed, watch, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed, cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoy, amazed. Practice, 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 practice. Ahorita con el micrófono apagado. Practice, practice, and practice. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed, cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Continue practicing. I will send you something on the group right now. Let me just find it. Okay. Now, I need you to open the microphone and we are going to practice the category of T. Open your microphone. We're going to practice the category of T. Help. 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 Look. 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 Watch. 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 Amazed, amazed, right? Amazed. Very good. Now I am going to send you something on your chat. And in this one, the ones that I am going to send you, you will see, you will have a specific categories for each of these uh, three different forms. I am going to send it to you right now. Let me just forward it because there are they are three different documents. Okay, there you have. And if you receive it on your chat, I send you another category that is the one that I am going to show you right now. Here, for example, I am going to show you this one. In this one, I have the three different categories of uh, id, d, and t. More examples of id. In this ones, we are going to, uh, okay, there you go. 
in these ones we are going to include Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome in these ones we are going to include more examples right for it and remember that this one is an extra syllable you have suggested voted waited wanted shouted hunted adopted accepted painted contacted hated included landed right you have an extra category here and this is a different pronunciation because most of them finish in t or in d when uh, in the normal form so practice the pronunciation with me here you have suggested suggested voted Voted. Voted. Waited. Waited. Wanted. 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 Shouted. 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 Hunted. 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 Adopted. 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 Accepted. 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 Painted. Painted. Contacted. 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 Hated. 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 Included. 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 Landed. 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 Needed. 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 These are with ill. What about with D? You have lived. 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 Climbed. Lived. Climbed. 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 Waved. 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 Arrived. 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 Cleared. 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 Studied. Studied. Listened. Listened. Toured. Listened. Toured. Considered. 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 Traveled. Traveled. Stayed. 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 Rescued. Rescued. Happened. 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 And in the last category, we have the T, right? You say announced. 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 Cooked. Announced. Cooked. Cooked. Walked. 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 Talked. 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 Finished. 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 Typed. Laughed. Typed. Laughed. Brushed. Laughed. Brushed. Crashed. Brushed. 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 Worked. 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 Liked. Or liked. liked. Attacked. Liked. Attacked. 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 Good. Attacked. In the images that I send you on the attacked. chat, attacked. you have attacked. In the images that I send you on the chat, you have this light blue one. I think that you have seen it, right? I send you this light blue one. And in there, you have all the verbs in each category. The most common ones, right? You have all the ones that are with T or the ones that are with D and all the ones that are with E. So for you not to be like wandering around, it's like, pero cuál es teacher? Cuál es con D? Cuál es con D? Cuál es con E? Practice them. That's why I send it to your WhatsApp for you to have it there and for you to practice. So you can get, for example, one day and you will say, okay, hoy voy a practicar toda la categoría de la T. Okay, Kaiser, ¿qué pasó? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Okay. Hoy voy a practicar toda la categoría de la T. And you start, for example, asked, baked, brushed, cook, and then you can go in all the list that I send you. Ahí les envié todo un listado de la letra T. Todos los que se pronuncian con D y todos los que se pronuncian con ID for you to practice. And the only way that we are going to have in mind the different pronunciation is through practice. And what is something that you can do extra from this? So you say, okay, I am going to take 10 verbs and I will create 10 sentences, right? That would be an extra exercise that you can do. For example, imagine that in this category, we have this one, the one with id. Take one verb, and create one sentence with one of these verbs. Go ahead. That will be your challenge right now. Create one sentence in past, for sure, with one of these verbs. 
When you have it, tell me the sentence. Invent one. Ahí invéntense una, una oración. With one verb. It can be suggested, voted, waited, wanted, shouted, hunted, adopted, accepted, painted, contacted. Sure, hey. can, can we use it in uh, the birds uh, ending in T? Okay, right now with only, I am I am working right now with the E, right? Then okay. we're going to make one with D and one with T. Don't worry. Okay. Vamos a hacer una de cada uno. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay. I'm going to work. Work on one sentence. I am going to give you my example. Last month, I was walking on the street and I saw a cat. It was so small and beautiful that I adopted it. It's an example, right? <laughs> I don't have a cat. Yesterday. <clears throat> Yesterday. And I don't have a cat because I have a small dog. Today. Teacher, uh, yes. in the examples, in, uh, uh, I am needed to go to vacation. I, I needed. I needed, uh -huh. I needed to go to vacation. Ajá. Pero when, ¿cuándo necesitaste ir de vacaciones? Because um, remember tomorrow? that this, no, 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 these verbs no, no. are in past. Todos estos verbos oh. están en pasado. So esto ya sucedió. De... So you can say, uh, in December. In December, in December, I need. I needed, to I needed to go on I vacation, didn't... right? On vacation. In uh, December, so... I needed to go on vacations, right? Yeah. Sure. Because it's past, it yeah. happened already. Another example. Mm. Okay, Karen, okay. Go ahead. okay, Karen, give me your sentence. She's to get shopping. She? Ella sugirió. Ah, she suggested. She suggested. She, su she su suggested. Suggest. No, suggest. Suggest. She suggested. She to get this. <laughs> suggested. <laughs> suggested. Going. Going shopping. shopping. Very good. She suggested going shopping. Very good job. Another example. Me teacher. Yes, go ahead. I waited, I waited for 10 minutes in the bank. I waited for 10 minutes in the bank. Very good. I have an example on the chat that says my friend suggested that I go to the doctor. <laughs> yes. Like I am okay. <laughs> Eduardo Jose, go ahead. I really hated the beans when I was 11. Really? It's an example. I did ex <laughs> yeah, most of Salvadorians, it, it's the diet of Salvadorians. Good, very good. Thank you, Eduardo. Jenny. I accepted a new job because the salary was better. Excellent. I accepted a new job because the salary was better. Excellent example. Very good job. Another one. I need someone else. One more, one more. Five. I, uh -huh, go ahead. Okay. My brother cooked delicious meal yesterday in my, in my house. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. No brincamos hasta la té. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. No, that's good. Give me one example I, I with it. I have the other one. Go ahead. My sister was accepted in the softball team last month. 
My sister was accepted in the subball team last month. Great example, very good job. Okay, who else? Me teacher. Go ahead, Raul. Okay. Um, number one, yesterday I was painting my house. Uh -huh. um, the mechanic uh -huh. fixed the, me the mechanic fixed my car yesterday. Okay, the mechanic fixed my car yesterday. Yesterday called my brother in the morning. Yesterday I called my brother in the morning. Okay, the first example where you say, where you say, yesterday I was painted. Okay, I was painted my house, you say, right? I was painted yeah. my house. Si sí, traducimos esta oración, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Ayer uh, estuve pintando la casa. No, casa. si pusiéramos, I was painted the house, ¿qué significado tendría? A ver, quien, quien quiera ayudarnos. I was painted my house. Ay, yo estaba, pinté mi casa. Está. I was painted, yo, es, yo estuve pintado mi casa, right? In these cases, you cannot have two verbs in the same sentence, in this case, because the main verb is painted. So was, it is not necessary here. So you say, yesterday I painted my house. So in this case, you don't use was when you use the main verb here. And you can say, for example, I was busy. Okay, yo estuve ocupado. You can use it like that. But if you say, I was painted, yo fui pintado. Or yo estuve pintado. That was, that is not possible in the case of this usage of the verbs. But the sentence was good. I painted my house yesterday. Another example for uh, the verbs. Let's see. Me teacher. Okay, Jancy, go ahead. In the last year, I waited the good news. I waited for good news in the last year. I waited for good news in the last year. And did you receive them? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't, right? Elvira, Elvira says, I have always hated that the bus will be late. <laughs> yes. I have always hated that the bus will be late. In this case, it's like, yo siempre he odiado, right? I have always hated. In, uh, in this case, it was good. It was well used of the verb that the buses are late, you can say. That the buses are late. Give me one sentence with the word announced. Announced. Go ahead, go ahead. On the spot. Ahí los agarra en curva. Vamos a, como, como sea. Invéntense una. Announced. Five, four, three, two, one. The president announced the re-elections. Okay, the president announced the re-elections. Very good job. What did he announce in the Miss Universe? What did the president announce in the Miss Universe event? Hey, people, you don't watch the news. No, you go uh -huh. <laughs> But what did he announce? ¿Qué anunció en el evento de Miss Universo? The... En diciembre. Okay. He announced that our country will our be country. hosting We'll be hosting the event. The event. Give the me one sentence with traveled. 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 Five, four, three. My mom traveled, 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 traveled around the world. USA. Okay, I traveled to USA. Monday. I traveled to USA last Monday. Ah, nice. Por eso no empezamos clases el lunes, ya ven. <laughs> Because he was traveling. Okay. Uh, my mom traveled to work this morning, right? She traveled by bus. 
You can say, I travel by bus this morning. Okay. I travel to Santa Ana last month. Okay. You can use different uh, sentences, simple sentences. I travel with my sister last year. Right. Just invent it. The next one. Worked. 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 I worked uh, in the in the factory USA. Okay, I worked in the factory USA. The no, USA. USA. USA, that's ah, USA, the one, yeah, for sure. <laughs> the, <Yeah. one. laughs> the Y, yeah, USA. I worked at the factory USA. Good. I work today. Another example with worked. I worked in the vacation. I worked in the vacation. Very good job. Example with the word hated. Hated. I hated the pollution. I hated the pollution when? Cuando la odiaste? When I was a kid, for example. Whatever. <laughs> During my last whole life. Week, last, last winter. <laughs> last winter. Yeah, because it caused a lot of destruction, right? Last winter. Definitely. Good job. I hate, I hate uh, the traffic today. I hated the traffic today. Me too. Yes, that was really horrible. I hated uh, vegetables when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, the, this, this example, teacher, uh, when I was a child, I hated to wake up early. <laughs> I hated to wake up early. Yes. I think I have woken up early during my whole life. My God. <laughs> because I always started in the morning. And it was like, and now I work in the morning. So it's like, I, I always wake up early. The next one, listened, listened. I listened music in English in order to practice. I listened music in English in order to practice. Good. ¿Qué hicimos con los audios este día? Listen. I, I listened. Practice. I, I listened to, practice. to my friends' audios to practice. Teacher, right? Yes. I hate. I I hate listening Bunny 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 music. <laughs> well, but that <laughs> is. I hate it me too. I that, that is an ongoing action, right? <laughs> Esa es una acción eh, constante, right? I hate listening. I hate listening. En, en este caso no hacemos el verbo en pasado, sino que como es una acción constante, yo odio escucharlo, right? I hate listening. I, me too. <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah, there are some people who like it. The problem is when you find yourself singing one. El problema es cuando de repente estás tú viviendo tranquilo y empiezas a cantar una canción de esas. And you say like, ¿Eh? what's going on? <laughs> Uy, quieto, you say. What's going on in here? <laughs> so, yeah, I think most of us hate it. So that is the form of using. You need to challenge yourself, not only to know the verbs. Ahí es donde estigmatizamos el inglés y decimos, ay, es que qué cuestan los verbos, teacher, memorizárselos. It is not the oh. idea, it is not the idea to memorize them. The idea is to know how to use them. Okay, the idea is to create sentences with them, to make them logical, okay, to make them meaningful. Porque los podemos saber de memoria, decimos suggested, voided, waited, wanted, shouted, hunted, adopted. Ajá, ¿qué significan? ¿Cómo los ponemos en una oración? That's the important part. It is not just memorizing and uh, yes, you say la pronunciación de todos. But the idea is to put them into practice. Exactly what we did right now. Agarren 10 diarios. 10, va, sin ir muy lejos. Agarren 5. Y hagan sus oraciones, sus párrafos, e incluyanlos. And that's a very good way to build up vocabulary. It is not just like, ah, yeah, I know the list, teacher. I know the information. Use them, okay? And now you have them there. And on the chat, I also send you these ones. These ones are specific 
categories for irregular verbs. That is a big problem for all the students who learn English. Todos los estudiantes que aprenden in inglés dicen, ay no, que es que los irregulares que cuestan. Here you have the irregular verbs in different categories for you to know different portions of them. For example, here in the first category, in the first category that we have here are all the ones that do not change. All the irregular verbs that never change. And you say, ah, I, there's a category of this. So que hay una sola categoría para los que no cambian. This one is. Here are the ones that, for example, when you transform them into past and past participle, they finish in T. You say bent, built, burnt, built, dreamt, felt, kept, learned, left, lent. What is the, the different thing about the irregular verbs? They have their specific form, okay? Los verbos irregulares tienen su forma específica y su pronunciación individual. So here is not like category of D, T, E, whatever, okay? Here you have specific uh, words for each category. The next group that we have are the ones that finish in an or un. Began, drank, ran, rang, sang, sank, swam, sprang, right? Here is this different category. And we also have the ones that finish in EW, right? Blue, blonde. Here, all the ones that finish in GHT. Que aquí estos son los que más guerra dan. Que si lleva GHT o HTG o TGH. I don't really remember. No, this is just a category for the ones that finish in UGHT. Brought, bought, caught, fought, sought, taught, and thought. This is another category. I have here another section that are the ones that finish in EN, in the past participle. Beaten, beat, beaten. Broke, broken. Chose, chosen. Drove, driven. Ate, eaten. Fell, fallen, right? Here you have this specific group of irregular forms. And in the last ones, we have verbs that are free and they have their specific forms, right? Esta es la categoría, les digo yo, el alma libre. Because they have come, came, come, do, did, done, draw, drew, drawn. They have three different versions on present, past, and past participle. So, esos son las almas libres. And say go, went, gone, green, ground, ground, hang, 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 is, was, where, and been. Miren el verbo to be, qué tan libre era. Que es is, was, or where, and been in the past participle. Make, made, made, and you have show, showed, shown, right? And here you have the uh, free willy category. And these are irregular forms, okay? Aquí están los verbos irregulares más comunes in different categories. For you to analyze and you say, Okay, today I am going to study the first category. Tomorrow, the second category. The next day, another category, right? And you can get them like that. For you not to memorize everything at once, porque imagínense agarran un listado que tiene 300 seguidos, y así como, how are you going to memorize everything? So it is better to memorize the different categories, okay? I hope this is going to be very useful for you. A mí me sirvió un montón para aprender y para enseñarlos. So I hope that you might find it useful as well. In past tense, we create sentences with regular forms. The first example, can you help me to read the first examples, people? This one. I studied, I on, studied Sunday. on Sunday. I studied on Sunday. On Sunday. I you, watch television. 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 You watch television. Watch she stays. She stays. She stays. She stays. She stays. Home. We. We shop, shop, shop. For groceries. For groceries. They. 
Saturday. They exercise on Saturday. In the negative forms, you use the auxiliary didn't. If you use didn't, the verb is going to be normal. You don't change it. So you say, I didn't study. I didn't study. On Saturday. You didn't. Watch. She didn't watch a movie. She didn't watch a movie. She didn't stay out. He didn't stay out. We didn't shop for clothes. We didn't shop for clothes. They didn't for clothes. They didn't shop for clothes. They didn't exercise. They didn't exercise on Sunday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. And here we have the next form of the past tense. It's the just no questions. For the just no questions, we take the auxiliary did at the beginning of the sentence. Then you have the subject, the verb, and the complement. And it says, did you have a good summer? In the answer, you say, yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Yes, I did. I had a good summer. Or, no, I didn't. It was terrible, right? Did you play volleyball? What is the answer that you have there? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I played tennis. I played tennis. In this case, if you say no, you have to give me the correct answer. Imagine if I say, did you work today? Trabajaron no. ahora? Did you work today? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yes, Entonces, I did. Yes, I did. ¿Qué hicieron si no trabajaron ahora? Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> so I don't give explanations. No. I work. Okay, yeah, I work, teacher. I work. Okay, <laughs> if you say, no, I didn't, I stay at home, you can say, or I had a day off, or I rested. I went to the hospital, for example. Did Erica like her vacations? And you have the answer? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She, she liked, liked it, it a lot. It, uh, liked and the next lot. one, did Erica did and her Erica sister go to, to Colorado? Go to Colorado? Go to Colorado? Mm. No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. They went to Arizona. Very good. Now, also, with the past tenses, we have the verb to be. The verb to be is what I was explaining some minutes ago when you use was or were. Esta es la forma de pasado con las oraciones simples que llevan is o are. Okay, so you say, I was born in Korea. She, uh, sorry, you were pretty young. In this case, imagine that you have the sentence in the normal form, you are pretty young. Esa sería una oración en presente simple. You are pretty young. Estás muy joven. Pero si ya no estás joven, so you say, you were pretty young. You were pretty young. In 2000, right? Ahí en el 2000, cuando salieron los Backstreet Boys. You were se, pretty young. What do you say todavía? <laughs> you, okay, in that case, you are I mean, still. <laughs> you are still pretty young. You are still, todavía sos, right? You are still pretty young. You are still pretty young. All of us, right? Sí, yo no sé si a ustedes le pasan, pero yo después de 35 ya no cumplí más años. <laughs> <laughs> so you say like, ¿cuánto años tienes? Solo los festejos. Me too, me too, uh, yeah. teacher. <laughs> yeah. It is like, how old are you? <laughs> 35. 35. And they say like, pero ha sido maestra por 19 años, no me da la matemática. Don't make numbers, I say. Numbers are not important, I say. <laughs> it is not necessary. It is not necessary to make numbers. So she was 17. Imagine that she is 17 right now, that will be in present, right? She is 17, ella tiene 17. But if she is not 17 anymore, so you say she was 17. They're like in 2000 something, right? She was 17. We were born in the same year. Who was born in 1984? ¿Quién nació en el 84? 
Aquí, vamos, veamos. Nobody. No, I am the only adult here. Come on. Who was born in 1984? No one? 1982? 1990? Uh-huh. 2000? ¿Quién nació en el 2000? Nadie. My God, how old are you people? Sandra, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Uh, I was born in 1883. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 1883. Okay. 1883. Uh, but... <laughs> Pero no 1883. No en 1883. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, I was born in 1972. 1972, okay. Let's see. Uh, who is the youngest here? ¿Quién es el más jovencito del grupo? O la más jovencita. 18. ¿Quién tiene 18? Uh, I, I think I am the grandfather of the group. <laughs> ah, come on, Raúl. <laughs> uh, but I, I'm really happy. Yeah, a lot of respect here for Mr. I Raul. feel like Papa Noe. <laughs> yeah, Papa, Papa Raul. <laughs> okay, anybody who is 19 years old? Alguien que tenga 19? No? 20? 21? 22? Me siento como cepillín, come on. 24. Imagina que. 25. Yeah. Ok, 22. Karen. Karen, 22. Ok, so 22. And Jenny, how old are you? I'm 33 years old. 33. I thought you were 18. Yeah. Yo creí que tenía como 18. Ah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> 33. Let's see. Katherine, how old are you? I am 24. 24. She's the youngest of the group. Oh, no, Karen is the youngest because she's 22. I'm 22. Yeah, I'm... for sure. Edgar, how old are you? I'm 42. 42. Uh, let me see. Jancy, how old are you? I am 50 years old. 50. So, <laughs> you see, we are winning here. But here... <laughs> Wisdom is the most important. La sabiduría es lo más importante, not the number. Okay, it's okay. I am not going to continue asking, don't worry. We are young. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uno siempre es tan joven como se siente, so no yes. problem. Pregúntenle a la rodilla. Oh. <laughs> so, la yeah, that, la columna que tenemos. yeah, it's true. It's like when they say, I think it's going to rain, right? Creo que va a llover. And so like, how do you know? The knee, <laughs> la rodilla. It hurts, right? I wasn't born in the U.S. No nací en Estados Unidos. I wasn't born in the U.S. I was born in El Salvador, right? You weren't very old. You are very young. She wasn't in college. Ella no estuvo en la universidad. We weren't born in the same country. Yes, we were. And they weren't in the U.S. in 1998, right? In this case, we use was or were depending on the subject, okay? If it is singular, we use was. If it is plural, we use were. So we have a couple of examples here. My family and I, that it's plural. Teacher, yes. I, I have a question, teacher. Yep. Um, I have a question with... Uh, Three words with about three words. Uh -huh. uh, when we say university, college, and school, because uh -huh. um, uh, I listen to you, uh, you say I study at the college, and college it's equal to university. Yes. And then, and then, uh, if uh, when I need to use university because I I have to say uh, I can to uh, I have to say no I can to say 
I, I studied at the university. Okay. Why I have to say I studied in the college. Okay, good. I study at the university. It is a it's very a good. It is a very good question. The two of them mean the same, right? It is not like a big difference between a college and university, but I can give you a definition here. When you say a school, it's the normal school, right? It is like, yeah, from first grade to seventh grade. And the difference, for example, with college and university is that the college offers different degrees. Okay, and the university is like the normal university, right? For example, uh, if, if we say, for example, here in, let's say, uh, Ma Ferrer, I think it's Ma Ferrer University, right? It doesn't offer different degrees. No tienen como eh, maestrías, posgrados, doctorados y todo eso. College is the one that offers different degrees, okay? Usamos college cuando el lugar del que estamos hablando ofrece este tipo de eh, extra eh, servicios. Ofrecen maestrías, ofrecen doctorados, ofrecen, eh, I don't know, eh, postgraduate things. That's a college. A university is just major studies, right? Licenciaturas, más que todo. So, that is like kind of the, the main difference of this one. But now, for example, how are you going to know? It's like, no sé si de veras ofrecerán posgrado, voy a preguntar. Use university. Right? Okay, it, it, yeah, that's, yeah. that's, yeah. the main, uh, that's the main difference on this one. In high school, it's just like bachillerato. Mm -hmm. that's, that's like the main thing here. And now it's very clear. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. I am pleased that I answered your question. Here you say, my family and I, two people, plural, where? Yeah. We're all born in Korea. We. Yeah. We wasn't or we weren't? Weren't. We weren't. We weren't, we weren't right? We weren't born in the U.S. I was. Was, I was, was, I was born in the city of Inca. Born in the city. And my brother, he was, 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 he was, was born was, there too. My parents, my parents were, and were, and were, and were and born, born in, in Inca. They, they, were, born they were born in the capital, Seoul. 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 For plurals, we use where, for singulars, and for uh, he, she, I, was, okay? That is something uh, important to remember. Here, I have more examples, right? I have more examples here for you. And it says, were you born in the U.S.? Give me the answer. Yes, I was or no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, no I, I wasn't. wasn't. No, I was. No, I was. I was. No remember. I don't I don't know, teacher. <laughs> was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. Yes, he was, right? Were your parents born in Incon? No, they no, were no, no, they, they weren't. weren't. No, they weren't. Were no, you uh, where were you born? Where were I you was born? born in El Salvador? I was born in El Salvador. Good. Okay. When were you born? Uh, when I was, was in January 1972. I was born in January 1972. I was born in 1972. 1982. 1982, 1972, 1984, right? What city were you born? What city I were you born? In San Salvador. I was born in San Salvador. In San Vicente. In, 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 in San Vicente, you say, in San Vicente. <laughs> what is the yeah. difference between the two of them? Si se fijan, hay una diferencia bien marcada entre este tipo de preguntas, this ones, and this ones. The where and was questions are just for yes 
and no. Were you born in the US? No. Or was your brother born here? No. Were your parents? No. Yes or no. But these ones that use where, what, when, who, these are information questions. And in these ones, you need to give details, right? Because you cannot say, where were you born? Yes. That's not the answer, right? Si te estoy preguntando donde naciste. You cannot say, no. Yes. That's not an option. Where? You are looking for a place. Where were you born? Donde? Right? Ah, I was born in Korea. I was born in San Salvador. I was born in El Salvador, right? In this one, when was she born? When means an specific time. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What Teacher, city? Uh -huh. In this statement, why is necessary to add uh, the words in at the end of the statement? Here, in, a, in 19... No, 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 no. In the last one, what city ah. were they born in? For you to be specific. For you to be specific in the name of the city. We say like, what city were they born? It's like, yeah. Pero en cual nacieron? What city were they born in? Right? They were born in Seoul. For example, if you say, they were born in San Salvador. But what city were they born in? Ah, they were born in, in Apopa, for example, in Soyapango. In, in La Colonia. I, I mean, the place, the little city, right? That they uh, were born in. in. But in okay, this case, that is, you, that is the structure. Some, that is the structure. Yes, it's that a is great the structure. Explication. Teacher, I, I have the last question. Yeah. Uh, in the homework uh, the, the, the today, Mm -hmm. uh, I want to know what mean the part the uh, the the words ever ever ah ever. that you have ever received que alguna vez haya recibido ever. what is the best uh, gift that you have ever received cuál es el mejor regalo que he recibido alguna vez right that it's the meaning of ever alguna vez ever yes. uh, thank you teacher. Like if I say, for example, have you ever gone to the beach? ¿Has ido a la playa alguna vez? That will be a question for that. Another use. Okay. Thank Good. You, You're welcome. So the difference, these ones are information questions. These ones are yes, no questions because you only have to say yes or no. And these ones, you need to give details. Well, so... I am going to call the attendance in order to finish the class, but we are going to keep on practicing on the next part of the manual on Monday about the past tense, okay? So if you have it there, keep on checking the unit, sigan revisando la unidad 1 del manual para que vayan viendo más preguntas acerca del pasado, okay? We have, least, teacher. we have more, I am going to call the attendance right now. A eso voy ahorita, les paso lista y se van a dormir. <laughs> so uh, keep on practicing. The past tense is a matter of practice. Is you need to go over each and each time on them. Yes? Question? ¿Quién me quiere hacer una pregunta? No, solo iba a decir que es viernes. Yeah, today is Friday. <laughs> no, go to sleep. Y la noche es joven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, my mother has a saying for that. Mi mamá tiene una frase para eso. La noche es joven, pero vos ya no. <laughs> And she's just like, go to no. sleep. <laughs> yeah. No, después de los 25 ya no cumplimos años, así que sí, seguimos, seguimos siendo jóvenes. <laughs> We're still young, definitely. Yeah, puede hacer locuras esta noche. Me voy a acostar. <laughs> Alejandra Beatriz, where are you? <laughs> Here, right. sure. Thank you very much. Angélica Yamilet. Eh, Cecilia de Los Ángeles. Así. César Guadalupe. Here, teacher. Thank you. Edgar Abel. Here, teacher. Edson Stanley. Present, teacher. Edgar Abel. Here, teacher. Thank you very much. Eh, Elvira Lorenzana. 
Lorenz. Present teacher. Sorry, ya le estoy poniendo otro apellido. Ever Ernesto. Ever. Eh, Isabel Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Jenny Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jeremia Ezequiel. Yes, Thank you. Joana Yesenia. Present teacher. Jose Daniel. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Fernando. Jose Fernando. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Catherine Alejandra. Present. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Raúl de Jesús. Eh, here I am, teacher. Reina eh, Elizabeth. Good night, teacher. Have a wonderful night. Reina Elizabeth. I am, I am here, teacher. Samuel Isaac. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Jancy Astrid. I am here, teacher. Have a wonderful night. Well, my dear students, it was a pleasure to see you and to be with you. I am going to see you on Monday for the next class. Have a great night. See you. See Good night, you. Good night. Have a beautiful night. Bye-bye.